Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Dr. Khalil Salam. I'm going to give you some hints about how to uh, properly examine extraocular muscles. Uh, first of all, you need a non-dazzling object for the test. So non-dazzling object means uh, it shouldn't be a light source. It shouldn't be something which will, um, you know, um, decrease the focus of the patient. And uh, you ask the patient to look with his um, with uh, he, the fo to follow the target with his eyes, but not with his head. And then you start to do your regular etch. So with your regular etch, as you can see, you go one this way, and then go the other way, and then you go upwards, downwards, and then again you go upwards here and downwards. So let's try to uh, break down uh, what we are examining all through our test. So to start, uh, we'll go to the right side here, and as we go, um, as you can see, we are testing the right lateral rectus and we are testing the left medial rectus. Now the right lateral rectus and the left medial rectus, as they are looking at the same direction here, and they are moving together in virgins. Uh, this, uh, these two muscles are called yoke muscles, and yoke muscles are <coughs> uh, muscles that are. Uh, looking in virgins um, or looking at a certain direction okay uh, usually the innervation is equal and uh, when um, uh, both uh, for example the lateral and the medial rectus are looking at a certain direction the innervation to the lateral rectus and the medial rectus should be equal this is this is called herring's law of equal innervation okay now uh, we will be testing the other side, the uh, the the left, uh, or let's say the levo version, levo version, or the left side uh, gaze. So we are testing here the medial rectus of the right eye, the lateral rectus of the left eye, and then uh, we test the vertical uh, muscles. Testing of the vertical muscles is a little bit tricky, as you need to. Um, straighten up the fibers of the muscles to get rid of any uh, secondary or tertiary action of the muscle at that point. So while looking upward and um, uh, uh, let's say for example here in Levo Virgin we are looking upwards and to the left <coughs> we are testing the uh, left uh, superior rectus and we are testing the left inferior oblique and we can look downwards as well and outwards and by that you are testing the left uh, uh, inferior rectus and you are testing the left superior oblique and you can actually do the same for the other uh, two gazes. <coughs> uh, it's important to notice that your uh, extraocular muscle examination is incomplete unless you do saccadic virgins and you have to do as well convergence uh, with uh, and you have to pay attention to the pupillary constriction if the pupils are not constricting well with extraocular motility muscle or they are abnormally dilating then you have some diseases that we will be talking about soon